Alright, I know you were expecting a rickroll or something on the lines of that, and understandably so considering today is April Fool's Day. However, I have more pressing matters to discuss with you. I have to leave the Coaster community and subsequently leave YouTube in the near future. Now, before you go wild in the comment section and unsubscribe from my channel, please let me explain. I understand that I'm one of a kind in India. And while that is an incredible achievement on its own, it doesn't come without its struggles. The most obvious of which is I have no one to talk to. And that's because coaster enthusiasts, it's, it's not a term in India. And no one really understands me around here. It leads to a lot of loneliness, which isn't helped by a lot of people in my class calling me a lunatic, a weirdo, and pardon me for using this word, an idiot. I've been made an outcast in my own classroom, and I understand why that's the case. I'm not supporting this behavior, I'm just telling you why that would happen. Let me tell you an example. What if a new kid just joined your class? That kid is a screwdriver enthusiast, or at least calls himself that. This kid loves to fiddle with screwdrivers, The screwdrivers are life for him. Um. All that matters to him are screwdrivers and this person just loves fiddling with screwdrivers, driving nails deeply into everything he could possibly find and just sharing every screwdriver fact that he could know about with everyone, a lot of, a lot of people who are not interested in screwdrivers and this person would start crying if if he had not, you know, come across a screwdriver for a month. What would you do? You would laugh and belittle his interest. Because obviously it is very weird, isn't it? Well, that's what's happening with me over here. And fun fact, there are more screwdriver enthusiasts in India than there are coaster enthusiasts. So I understand why the people in my class are doing so, even though I don't support it. That's why I think it is borderline excusable for my classmates to do it to me in school. However, the same cannot be said when my family does it to me at home. Because my family thinks I'm obsessed with roller coasters, even though I think of myself as your average coaster enthusiast. And my dad had actually had to make me go through the 7 day sentence, the link to the playlist is in the card above. Yeah, my anti roller coaster dad had to make me go through the seven day sentence, which is basically a week where I couldn't interact with anything related to roller coasters, be it the coaster community, coaster videos, or coaster games. I wasn't even allowed to say the word roller coaster inside the house. And all this was just to check if I was addicted to roller coasters. Yep, you heard that right. Addicted to roller coasters. Worst of all, no one in my family, barring one, really understood the scars that the 7 day sentence left on me. Most of my family still thinks that the 7 day sentence was just a normal week for me, even though it was the worst week of my life. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, because I've been banned from going to my home park at Labs Magica by none other than my father. And it's been two and a half years since I've gone to any theme park. The reason for that is going to a theme park is it's kind of a once in a lifetime thing for Indians. And in my class, on average, people go to a theme park once every five to ten years. And that is excluding the people that do not go to theme parks at all. <sighs> However, it is impossible for a coaster enthusiast to survive this long without going to a theme park. Because after all, for a coaster enthusiast, roller coasters are just food. And there's only so long that someone can survive without eating food, without riding a roller coaster. And once I hit the three year mark, I think that I, I will go insane by just, just not being able to ride a roller coaster for, excuse me for such a long time. There are, in fact, my mental health, it, it isn't the best right now either because there are many nights when I cry in my bed just wishing to ride a roller coaster and if I get lucky, 
I dream accurate recreations of Cedar Point, Six Flags Magic Mountain, Ad Labs Magica, Essel World, and so many more theme parks. Cause that's the only way I can really ride roller coasters. It's it's my only happy place. All right. If you didn't figure this out by now, this was all an April Fool's joke. My love for roller coasters transcends all of this. However, please note that while I am not leaving the coaster community in the near future, I may have to do so later because all the points I brought up in this video are real and I'm suffering from each one of them every day. It's, it feels like a weight has been lifted off of my head, you know, just letting you know about this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.